pupils are dilated. He's locked in. I gotta be locked in too. The mother is right stick ripper in my sh I'm running like this, trying not to get plugged. You're probably wondering how I got here. I was wondering the same thing about you. What up though? We gotta clock in, cause there's a whole lot going on out here in these streets. They talking about it all. We we going through everything from bump steals to cap breakers. A lot of cap. It's a lot of cap going on out here. We got we got the debates. The debate school is up. So let's figure it out right here. All right. So the cap breaker debate. TJ statistics and badge plug had some murmurs on the timeline about the cap breaker situation. So badge doesn't know if they worded this wrong or if he's just bodied at the moment. And TJ said he had been said something about the situation. If it's not past your actual caps or it's only past what you put up. So I don't know really what they going on about. At each tier, you unlock rewards such as the new cap breakers with 15 total available to earn as you advance through the rep tiers. These can not only increase your attribute ratings beyond their max potential caps, but they will also they're going to they're going to push your ratings past the caps that you set. That's what I read. That's what it reads out to me. Let's go to the court side report and see what these boys are talking about in this report. We can break this down fully, fully for you. Last but not least, we are excited to introduce cap breakers in NBA 2K25. Mama. We saw the community feedback that players wanted a way to not only increase attribute ratings above their max potential caps set at build creation, but also have those ratings contribute towards animation, badge, and takeover attribute requirements. This is exactly what cap breakers do. No cap. For example, let's say your ball handle attribute is maxed out at 85. You can apply two cap breakers to play with the 87 ball handle rating and also unlock access to any animations, badges, or takeovers that require an 87 ball handle. There's a few restrictions to ensure balance, gameplay, experience. Each attribute can be increased a maximum of plus five above its cap. You can use a cap breaker on an attribute up to its max potential rating. What does that mean? Hold on. You can use a cap breaker on an attribute up to its max potential rating allowed by your build's height, weight, and wingspan, which is shown in the My Player Builder while allocating your attribute potential. I get it. I hope you got that too. You must progress an attribute to its max potential rating before applying a cap breaker. No cap. I'm understanding all of that so far. There are a total of 15 cap breakers available to earn through rep rewards, more on rep affiliation and the city in a few weeks. OK, so I mean, I get all of that. That makes sense to me. All of that makes perfect sense. I don't know where they got what they got. I don't know where they got theirs from. But what I just read makes perfect sense. I don't know where this spiel came from. We could be a little misleading, maybe. I hope not. But this made sense to me. You get a cap breaker. You can apply the cap breaker if you already have your max potential maxed out. And the cap breakers will not take you past the max potential that your build has set to. You know I mean, it makes sense. Now, let's slide over here and see what my friend Pablo. No, this is not Pablo. This is Reese. Let's see what Reese is talking about. He got something going on. And who knows? Apparently, 2K25 is in trouble, and the game hasn't even come out yet. So let's see what right. we think about it. iPod King Carter think there is a huge problem with bump steals already in the previews we have of the game. Oh, yeah, okay. I went through this. I had went through this, and I got some input for this. iPod does actually think... So right here, John Morant crosses over and bumps the ball into... I don't see nothing wrong with that. But he ran past him and got bumped for the game. So right here, John Morant crosses over and bumps the ball into Jamal Murray. That is one of the issues he's having already. That ain't no issue. This is another example that he got. Therese Maxey does a behind the back and Bronny jumps it and completely steals the ball on a normal behind the back animation. So 
He think the game is going to be in trouble with these bump steals constantly knocking the ball out of your hands as long as you're trying to dribble at all. What do y'all think? What do I think? I'm, I'm glad you asked. I am glad you asked. Kobe. I think if you're being reckless and you're dribbling into my body, the ball should come loose. I think if you dribble into my lap, the ball should come loose. Let's take this a step further. Hold on. This is exactly what iPod had to say about the situation. Let's listen in. Hey, yo, Mike, what's good, Brody? Um, I've been watching all of the gameplay reveals, all of the breakdowns, all of the new info. I just got one thing I need to ask you, Mike Wang. Please, please tell me that these bump steals will be getting toned down or if you'll be somehow being able to nerf their, their presence. Because, man, in every gameplay that I'm watching, they are they people are saying that they, this is taking skill for them just being in the right place at the right time to have the ball tangibility actually have the ball get bumped loose i just i just i just want to know can can we get that taken out please sir or have it, or have it toned down if it can't completely be taken out without what? messing up something else please what are sir, you i beg of thee i, I beg of to be thee bumped. You you trying too hard with this one. You trying to get them bump steals taken out or is this this has to be a you got to be you got to be joking. OK, look, I wouldn't I wouldn't even ask for the bump steals to be removed for the game. But if you could give these guards better ball handling rated guards with a high ball handle rating, give them the ability to protect the ball way better than somebody with a lower ball handling attribute. You understand me? I feel like that will work out six, 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 way more than anything else that we're thinking about in this situation. Because taking bump steals out the game, it's no way. There's no way. Shoot, even Chalk was upset. Listen in on what bro Dribble was talking into about. the defender in front of us anymore like we could in previous two cases. The ball Fumble. handler would either drop the ball or get a fumble. <laughs> so good defense is going to make you fumble. Go, it's so over. It's, it's over. over Y'all cooked? You it's feel over. cooked? It's over. It, 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 it's so, over. so chalk feels like the situation is cooked me personally i don't feel that way i just don't feel a way about it i feel like if you're not a good me personally in real life i'm losing the ball without any defense on me period you know what i mean that's just for real but we're not talking about ir real we're talking about a video game where numbers rule everything it's mathematical processes so it should be it should just be the situation where if I have the numbers higher on defense, my perimeter is higher, my steel is higher than your ball handle, my steel should take over and be able to rule the world in that situation 1v1. If you have higher ball handling and speed with ball, then you should be able to rule the situation and be protected way more higher than I could steal the ball from you. But either way, bump steel should not go anywhere. If you dribble directly into my lap and I get good positioning and cut you off and you dribble into my lap, I should take the ball. That's just how that should work out. That's just how that should go. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, I mean, call it what it is. Call it a spade a spade. If you dribble into me in past, in past iterations of the game, the ball would just phase through my body. It would just ghost straight through my body like I was a ghost in a machine, and you would be able to get to the rim. You, We've seen it over and over. I wish I could find some examples offhand while I'm building this video for y'all, but you know what I'm talking about where the ball phases through your body. We, that's what I don't want. I don't want the ball phasing through my body. Body, yaddy, yaddy. All right, so let me slow this down to half speed. If I put this on half speed. This happened to the computer. Imagine what will happen to you online. I hope you, I hope you imagine what will happen to you online. If I'm running past your ball hand and I clip your ball hand on accident, you should fumble the ball. You should fumble the ball. I don't see anything wrong with this. I mean, think about which way you're dribbling. Think about where you're going. Blitzes happen. And if it happens to you, it just happens to you. Like, come on, bro. What can we really say? Like, let's look at this next clip. Is this one slowed down too? Slow this down to 5%. Let's slow this down to half. Halfway, halfway this. If I jump in front of you and blitz the ball, it should come out of your hand. At this point, I, he jumped over there, got through the screen, and he tapped the ball. He tapped the ball out your hand. I mean, protect the ball. There is a such thing as protecting the ball. In this tweet, Buddy says, we're not going to press any buttons in 2K25. Just beat them there for the bump steal. Okay, I mean, that's a little bit excessive, bro. I mean, come on. I got to the ball. I cut the ball off. 
Like I cut the ball off. I cut you off. Look, you just you just dribbled into my thigh. He just dribbled into this man's thigh. Tyrese Max, he dribbles into Bron's body and the ball comes loose. The ball was out there. Look, Bron has more real estate in front of the ball than Maxi does. Maxi's trying to take this pick and Bron got through the pick early and he got in front of the ball. Like, come on. What are we talking about here? Are we talking about beans or rice? What are we talking about? They usually go together. Maybe I'm hungry right now. Who knows? Either way, this next clip says this is a blitz after hands up that resulted in an actual good play. The ball handler was a CPU and he still got pushed in the back by an imaginary player in, in 2K25. What are we talking about? What are we talking about here? Let's see what we're talking about here. Okay. Luca blitzes the ball, they fight for possession, and then Wiggins pushes it out of bounds trying to get the handle back. I mean, that's that's what I see. I don't see anybody getting pushed by anybody. Where do you where do you see the push? Where do you see the push? I see him jostle for the ball after the bump. He runs into the ball hand. He runs into his ball hand. Okay, so Wiggins has the ball in his left hand. Luca runs into Wiggins' left hand with his right hand. The ball comes loose and they fight for possession for a second until Wiggins knocks it out of bounds. That's Luca's ball going the other way. That's what I see. That's just what I see. I mean, I mean, all I really see here, I don't know where I paused that. So we might get a, a, a jumbled up, jumbled up script. I don't know. Either way, I see Wiggins with the ball in his left hand. Luca comes up with his right hand and bumps into the ball hand. That's what I see. They fight for possession for a second until the ball rolls out of bounds. That's just what I see happening in this play. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing suspicious. If you run, if I run into your ball hand, the ball should come out of your hand. Come on. If I tap the ball, this should come out your hand. If I disturb the ball, it should jostle out. Either way, that looks like it should be Lucas ball. It should be the Mavs ball going the other way. That's just what that looks like to me. But I mean, you said it yourself. I mean, you said it yourself. Me sitting here saying this to anybody is like talking to a brick wall. It is what it is. With When it comes to 2K, everybody has their own ideas and the community is kind of split. So it is what it is. At the end of the day, 2K is going to fight as hard as they can to make everybody happy and to put out a game that we love to play. But one thing that they have not done so far is given us an explanation about what's going on with Kobe, the Bryant bean, Kobe. the Bryant, the jelly bean. Nobody to this day still don't know what happened. Ronnie, give the people an answer. I mean, we just want to answer. The The tweet in question is we posted about. Ronnie says that they posted about it back in the day. They posted about it. That was the resolution. So he has no more to say about it. I mean, I just think that he can't say anything else about it. Honestly, to be honest, to be honest, I feel like. Ronnie just can't say anything else about it. That's what I feel like. I mean, but if I speak on how I feel, feelings could get hurt. So I'm not even going to say anything about it because I feel really highly about uh about Jelly Bean Bryant. Uh, why are you so scared to respond? They've been on Ronnie's head, but it's he's not scared to respond. He can't respond. The response that we've gotten is 2K strive to deliver the very best and we're going to give you these 100 overall cards because we're not giving you Kobe. Aha. Uh -huh. Kobe. It is what it is. I don't hate it. Back to what we were talking about, though, originally. You seeing so far, chat. As far as I'm concerned, there is a change in dribbling that we've never had in 2K before, and it's this right here. In NBA 2K25, you will not be able to dribble into a defender. If you do, your player will get a fumble animation or turn the ball over. We haven't seen this As in previous he 2K, so let us know how you feel about this, and be sure to like and follow. I'm thinking about this, Chad. Last year, I people feel had like a huge issue with right stick. You got a huge every forehead. Time they be quiet. In. I feel like... If you dribble into my body, the ball should come loose. I'm a lock. That's just how I feel. If you don't protect the ball, you can you can use your left trigger to protect the ball. You do know that, right? There are ways to protect the ball. If you look, I just been playing this game far too long. I know far too many special attributes. I know far too many controller tricks to be better than any of you. I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm I'm one of the top players in the world. I just don't have the body type to actually sit in this seat 
as long as it takes to be recognized for my abilities. There are a bunch of people on this planet who will tell you I am so ass at this game and I have beaten all of them on the whim. There are a few that I have yet to get into a comp situation with that I would love to see on that floor. But when it comes to these steals, y'all crying. Y'all really crying right now. They getting stripped. Everything they do get turned over. Every time they try to dribble the ball, getting ripped from them. Will this be a... That's because their cheeks, their buns. I'm telling you, Reese, you're kind of buns, but you're one of the better buns players on the planet. I actually would go into Pro-Am with you. Um... Carter, I go into Pro-Am with Carter. I go into battle with y'all. You know what I mean? I ride right into battle against the best of the best with y'all too. I mean, y'all not bad players. I feel like we could put five together that would be really special on the floor, but these bump steals, let it go, bro. Let it go. I could tell you the tricks of the trade. <laughs> Another know. case of that, that early in the year, everybody going to have a problem with the ball constantly being turned over. I don't know, Chad. I'm going to be honest. This looked like exciting basketball to me. You do a crossover, he reach, he put the ball exactly where it needed to be. He got on-ball menace. Does he have any, like, stealing? That's it? On-ball menace? I don't even know. That looked, like a, that looked like a pretty good, healthy exchange right there. But he got... But he got with that badge. He mean, almost got the cross off. If he would have, if he would have took that pick, I feel like it would have been, it would have been a way better situation. But it looked like he stopped and put the ball back in front of the defender again. Tried to cross back across the defender's body or something. I don't know what to call that. But bad dribbling. And hey, look, bad ball is bad ball. I would like to know what Bear the Beast think about this situation. If Bear the Beast could chime in on what. What bump steals is talking about, what it looked like at the moment. Because what it looked like to me is a bunch of computers and bots, human bots that don't know how to dribble. Maybe it's out here on a game that's brand new and not really fine tuned yet. Maybe they do need to tone some stuff down. Maybe they do need to buff some, you know, strengthen some, nerf some. Who knows at this point? I'm not the one with the, I'm not the one doing the math on the situation, but. I see what I see is bad ball on the ball handler side from a lot of these steals. I'm not going to hold you. Dribbling is going to be a problem this year. So let's hear from iPod himself what he thinks about all of yeah, this. Yeah, let's see what iPod talking bringing about. Bringing this to everybody's attention. Um, I'll give you a few examples here with NBA 2K25 gameplay. What you're seeing on screen are moments when the user who's actually controlling a certain player uses their body as a weapon basically it but my thing is at least the ball is not phasing through my body like a ghost like i said in the beginning of the video like if my if the ball was just phasing through my body like i'm not really there i would be way more upset than the physics of the game actually working and you seeing that solid objects are actually solid objects it's been way too many years where the ball would just go through my body like I wasn't there and I'm tired of it. It's it's the way of choosing to know where your player is going to go. I'm sorry, your opponent is going to go with the ball, what type of move and to use your body to get in the way of their trajectory, to get in the way of their end point. You know what their start point is. You know what animation they're actually using. So you as a defender can get to that end point to then have the ball just roll off your leg, hit off your butt, hit off your back, hit off your big toe, whatever you want. Bump steals are my favorite kind of steals in 2K because that shows the most intention on predicting where your opponent is going. I love when bump okay. steals is in the game because I'm tired of people left, right, and back and forth. If I can predict you coming back to the right and I start standing there, I love it. I love bump okay, steals. Okay. I love them more than animation steals. When I press square and it's an animation to knock the ball out your hand, I hate those type of steals. I like the. I rarely even get those, honestly. I rarely get the. I rarely get animation steals. Bump ones, because I'm as the gamer is actually putting myself in position to get a steal. So this thing does. Honestly, most of the time when I most of the time when I do get a turnover, it's either a lane steal or it's. It's actually a body up still. I have bodied you up and made you fumble the ball type situation. I mean, I rarely get square button, right stick ripper, 
actual animation stills. But as you may notice, they're about to start doing some yard work. So we're going to wrap this up. Like the video, subscribe to the page. Love you. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.